Since its debut in 2012, the Pulitzer Prize winning play Disgraced has wowed audiences on both sides of the Atlantic. And now it's making its mark on Broadway. That's right. And joining us to discuss this very special play are stars Hari Dillon and Karen Pittman. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was doing with the play. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Now, now, the play follows a Muslim American lawyer and his wife to an Upper East Side dinner party hmm. where. Yeah. Hijinks and all sorts of things ensue. Mm. Why, why do you think this play resonates with so many? Well, I, I think part of the reason is because the, uh, of what's happening in society right now. Mm. We're, we're dealing a lot with uh, uh, global topics around uh, terrorism, uh, in the United States, racial profiling. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, those topics in the play, uh, as well as we have a, a lot of fun. I mean, we, we laugh a lot, but um, we get in there and we talk about things that people uh, sometimes are too afraid to talk about. So it's, it's one of those things, too, you get in this play where everything you should talk about in a dinner party doesn't, doesn't get discussed. Uh, uh, and it does get discussed in this play, race, religion, politics, sexuality, yeah. identity. Yeah. Uh, and those are always fun things for... Toss around Toss on stage, around right? Stage. Yeah. Yeah, gets That's what up drama a is, yeah. What has the response been from the audience? Because, you know, I was looking around when I was there the other night at some of the reactions of some of the people, and some people, you know, it was a lot of different varying reactions. So mm. what have you all experienced? Well, yeah. it's, you know, it's very vocal. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. for sure. And, uh, and that's at any, almost any day of the week, any showing that we do. It's very vocal. People seem to really be leaning into it. There are certain audiences that uh, are very listening and certain audiences are laughing a lot. But uh, I kind of, I don't know, what do you think? I find They're very it. emotional, too. I mean, um, uh, Shannon, when you saw it, uh, you were outside sort of hanging out inside the theater. We couldn't stop talking about it. That, and that is exactly what happens. People just sort of stand outside the theater on the sidewalk. They're mm. 30, 45 minutes, an hour afterwards. They're still talking about what they saw and yeah. the experience mm. they had in the theater. So. Yes. Mm. Now, you play Muslim-American lawyer Amir Kapoor. Yes. What drew you to this role? Uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know, I'm Indian, my background is Indian, it's very rare that you get a part that kind of goes from A to Z and is a fully realized three-dimensional character and where you're, the, the base of the character is just solely, I don't know, like just purely laid within that ethnic identity. He also has a cultural identity, he's a fully realized 3D character and like I say, goes through a real emotional arc. Mm -hmm. And also too, you know, when I read it, uh, Ayad's writing is very, very sharp. You can't help be drawn into it immediately. So it was, uh, uh, at the moment I read it, it was very clear to me. I was like, I definitely want to do this, mm. for wow. sure. And you also play a lawyer in the same firm that he's in. Tell That's us right. more about your character and the transition she goes through. Well, Jory is uh, a colleague of Amir's in the law firm. She's married to Josh Radner's character mm -hmm. in the play, uh, Isaac. He's a Whitney curator, uh, curator at the Whitney. and. Um, uh, she's a character who has sort of navigated the conversation about identity, as African Americans have had to do for several decades uh, in uh, the United States. And uh, she um, brings in a very important plot point that I can't say. Yeah. Well, spoil it. But it's good. But yeah. it's a good plot point. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, and obviously, it's a play that's very timely. Mm. We're talking a lot about the things that we are are talking about in the play every day on the news. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask, what aspect of the conversation that was generated throughout the play most appealed to you two? Well, that's kind of easy for me. It's the conversation about racial profiling, the conversation mm -hmm. about, um, about that uh, Amir and Hussein have when they talk about, you know, as brown people in the world, we don't mm -hmm. live in a neutral world. We really mm -hmm. have to be very aware of how people are perceiving us. Um, that's a very important conversation that I've even had with my son. Mm -hmm. So it really touched me that Ayat had uh, started a conversation about that uh, in the Muslim American community. I mean, you know, we think that that's specifically a conversation for African Americans, but it's it's really not. Not in the 21st century. Yeah. Uh, lately, for me, it's been uh, you know the the spine of this story uh, is as you say about Amir Kapoor and his uh, identity as a Muslim American and there is a very uh, sophisticated and savvy way that Ayad opens up the conversation about what Islam is, what it means to Amir, what it means to those people around him and what the impact is on Amir and his life and there's a, there's a speech in the, in the middle of this play where you get a 
kind of a potted history of the uh, of Islam and what it means to be a Muslim in in the Western society, mm -hmm. and it's in a very tight, small speech that um, is very illuminating yeah. for me. Have you identified with a lot that the character has gone had to go through in this play? Yeah, aspects of. It. I mean, Karen and I. There's there's a part. You know, when we talk about racial profiling, where yeah. Karen and I, well, as as actors, we're kind of enjoying it, but also we're right. kind of, we we get it. We know, you know what's we identify yeah. we identify yeah. with it, and yeah. uh, so there's many kind of places where uh, current events and our own personal lives mm -hmm. as performers kind of cross in and out during that play. But definitely, the days where we were doing the play, where they were um, protesting in Times Square and in Washington mm. Square, uh, that we we were doing uh, the play on stage. It was very hard to not allow those uh, those feelings that mm. New York City is going through not permeate the uh, drama, the emotion of the play. Mm -hmm. All of that happening uh, sort of feeds you as not just as a human being, but as an actor too. Well, I also think it's a great opportunity to have this catalyst to be used to you know create these discussions that people are having That's right. about mm -hmm. these tough to talk about topics, and you guys do it in a fun and entertaining well, way as well. And that yeah. is what Broadway is. I mean, I really do think that's what theater can do and, mm -hmm. and what brought the impact of, of uh, this American institution that we call Broadway can do. I mean, we really mm -hmm. can be a catalyst for lots of conversations. Mm -hmm. And it's a conversation that, you know, that as, we, as we've been saying before, that it, people seem to be really drawing themselves yeah. to and the fact that, you know, one of the benefits for myself and Karen especially is that we're getting to get to do this on Broadway. Mm -hmm. I'm Indian American, she's African American, you know, yeah. we're in, we're, you know, we're getting to lead something uh, in, on one of the largest venues and one of the largest stages on in the States, which is yeah. exciting. Well, it, the play is exciting, so I definitely encourage everyone to go see Disgrace. It's on Broadway right now. Yeah. Thank you both Thank so much you, for joining us. Thank you for Thank having you, us. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more Arise Entertainment 360.